Welcome to Electron Online and now let's answer the question, where do solar eclipses actually occur? Do they only occur in certain parts of the world or do they occur everywhere? And the answer is, in one word, they occur everywhere. It's kind of the luck of the draw. There are certain cycles to the solar eclipses and we'll look at those cycles in a little bit more detail. But really when it comes down to it, over time, solar eclipses will be able to be seen from just about anywhere in the world. And we're talking about total solar eclipses or annual solar eclipses. So for example, there may be a solar eclipse here one day, and then there may be another one over here, and then another one over there. And again, the areas on the Earth where solar eclipses, the total solar eclipses can be seen, are typically just very thin strips on the Earth, sometimes only 100, 200 kilometers wide, and they last for maybe a few minutes as the Earth turns and the, the, the shadow casts on the Earth. It typically draws some strip like that of shadow on there, but you can see that over time, as, as time goes on, and whoop, my pen is not working too well here, oh, there we go. So you can see that sometimes you'll get kind of solar eclipses and more and more and more over time. And you can see that as time goes by, they'll be seen everywhere. And in a thousand year period, if you were to do that, and let's say there's two, sometimes three, sometimes more solar eclipses in a year, over time, the whole earth will simply be covered. If I stood here for about five or ten more minutes and just kept on drawing lines on there, you can see that slowly but surely the whole earth would be covered and you can see almost one solid black mark of all the shadows that will have occurred on the earth during solar eclipses over let's say a thousand year period. In about a thousand years you could say that just about anywhere on the, earth, on the world would have seen a total solar eclipse at least once. Of course provided it was sunny, there were no clouds and so forth, of course, irregardless of that. So, now notice my map of the world is kind of crude, so excuse me for that. And if you live in a part of the world where I didn't quite draw that part of the world, I apologize. This is more or less done by memory and I took a quick, quick glance at my globe. But that's pretty well what the world, I suppose, looks like in a very crude fashion. But just get the idea that over time, just about any place in the world will eventually see a solar eclipse.